The Miracle League started in Georgia um, by someone who had this dream of making a handicapped field for the handicapped kids. And so they started the Miracle League and it has grown over the years to, I think it's over 200 fields throughout the country and even in other countries now. I have worked with critically ill children for over eight years, almost nine years now. And I really want to do something for the kids that aren't critically ill, but have some sort of disability where they can't be exactly like the other kids, but yet now we're giving them the chance to be able to play alongside their healthy peers. While I was living in Texas, there was a Miracle League close by my house and I saw one of their um, flyers and started to get information about the Miracle League and was really planning on becoming a volunteer there and about that time decided it was time to move back home and really decided to plan for a Miracle League in Baton Rouge. My dad, Ronnie Polito, along with his business partners, Pepper Rutland and Jonathan Bruiser, were planning for a complex of about six or seven baseball fields for, for the little leagues, for the kids. And so I went to my dad first and really talked to him about it and said, you, you need to make room in the park for a handicapped baseball field for kids. And he took, I actually sent him an email and he took that to the other developers and they discussed it and decided that instead of this t-ball park they were planning, that they would make room and enlarge it and plan for a handicapped field for, for the kids of Baton Rouge. With the information about the Miracle League out there, the, one of the contractors for Cypress Mounds decided he would help donate the concrete slab for our field. So that's actually been poured. Um, we've gotten all of that donated, but we're at a point now where we need the funds to build the rest of it. We need to put the, the solid rubber surface down on the field and get the fences up and um, bleachers and dugouts. And so we're, we're really at a desperate point for fundraising to get this built and let this dream become a reality. Well, I grew up in Miami, Florida, and I came, back, uh, came to school here at LSU my freshman year. Went back to Miami-Dade Community College to play for my father for a year and then ended up back at the University of New Orleans. So I spent three of my four years in college in Louisiana and fell in love with the state and the people here. So uh, after a long coaching career at destinations around the country, I uh, got an invitation to return to LSU as the head baseball coach three years ago and I've been uh, privileged and honored to, be the, honored to be the coach here at LSU. And I always dreamed of being in a position as a coach at a school where maybe you had a certain level of status where you could go out and help other people in a community. And fortunately, you know, I was named the coach here at LSU and, you know, there's quite a following for the program here. And so it gives me a, an opportunity to go out and help people with different causes and, and, and uh, give up my time to do those things. And, you know, as our family has grown now, three of my children are out of college. I have one starting at, at, in high school this year. And you, you start to see other children of other families and, you know, uh, as you see kids that are not as fortunate as others or have handicaps or whatever, you know, you realize that their life is just as important as anybody else and you want to give them uh, opportunities to experience the same thing that children's, children without handicaps do. And so it's a, it's a great privilege that I'm involved in this project and, and uh, I, I noticed that field over at uh, Cypress Mounds many times when my 14-year-old son was playing over there. And I wondered, it almost looked like a, it was a roller skating rink or something because of the cement slab. And I asked a question to many people, you know, what, what is that area for? And when they told me, it, it, it piqued my interest. So when, it, when um, Hal and Al called me and asked me to uh, get involved in this project, I jumped at the opportunity because uh, it, it allowed me to, to, to uh, get involved in a project that combined the two things that I love most in the world, children and baseball. If someone wants more information about the Miracle League, um, the national organization has a website, but we have a local website, and it's www.miracleleagueatcypressmounds.com. You can email me through the website. Uh, my email address is on there. Um, I will get back with you as soon as I possibly can, and we would love to have you.